What's up everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we're reviewing the Acer Predator 21x9 Z35P Ultra Wide QHD monitor. Not to be confused with the Z35, which is a 2560x1080 monitor. We'll go through some of the tech specs because hey, this is a tech channel, right? Then we'll discuss its performance and also how it can and will affect your gameplay experience. As beautiful and immersive as this ultra wide is, moving up the resolution ladder will require you to rethink or respec your current build. All that and more right after this. The Z35P is a 35 inch ultra wide QHD monitor with a 21 by 9 aspect ratio and a 1340 by 1440 native resolution on a VA panel, rocking a default 100Hz refresh rate with overclocking up to 120Hz with a simple click of a few buttons. It has a gray to gray response time of 4 milliseconds and full sRGB color support up to 16.7 million and a contrast ratio of 2500 to 1. Viewing angles are 178 degrees horizontal and 178 degrees vertical. That means if you want to play your games while sitting next to your monitor and tilting your head like a contortionist, well then you'll be fine. With an 1800R curvature, you'll be sure to have this big boy wrap itself around you in a full immersive gaming experience. Its approximate weight with the stand comes to around 28 pounds, so I wouldn't recommend taking this to your next LAN party. But who has LAN parties anyway? Might as well order pizza and eat Doritos with Mountain Dew. By the way, did we mention the most glorious aspect about this monitor? <laughs> has speakers. Yes, two 9 watt built-in speakers which actually sound pretty good. That's not the big glorious detail we wanted to mention. It's got G-Sync. So if you're nailing an FPS range of anywhere between 30 to 120 FPS, you'll have a tear-free experience. Higher than that and you'll want to enable NVIDIA Fast Sync to smooth out anything in the higher range. But wait a second Uncle Tanktop, will my PC actually get those frames? <sighs> Probably not Timmy. Probably not. So depending on your GPU, if you're rocking anything less than a 1070, which is already questionable at max or ultra settings, you'll probably experience a non-desirable gaming experience. For our experiment, we went ahead and ran a new AAA title with our current X299 setup powered by a 1080 Ti and tested it at 1080p and 1340x1440. We then swapped out the GPU for a more frugal 1050 Ti with the same resolution settings. So let's find out what happened. <laughs>
So after one year with this monitor, I can honestly tell you that the immersive gaming and YouTubing and browsing and video watching and movie watching and just staring at my two-dimensional desktop background has been an amazing experience. And I would never go back to a 16 by nine monitor or dual monitor setup or triple monitor setup or even having a TV as a monitor. I wouldn't do any of that. And I would purchase an ultra wide in the future as well. When the technology becomes a little bit more advanced, such as higher Hertz rates, higher refresh rates, basically just higher response times. Yes, the price will become more experienced, but as you can see in the background, it does take up a lot of real estate, but just imagine having two monitors or three monitors or four monitors or a TV here in the background. My initial opinion and my initial experience with an ultra wide has been a great one and I'll be sure to continue that in the future making sure to never go back to 16 by nine. Well, I hope you enjoyed my review of the Acer Predator Z35P 21 by nine ultra wide monitor. Let me know in the comments below if you have any other questions or would like to know any other details about this monitor that weren't mentioned in the review and I'll be sure to respond back. Please like or dislike my video, comment and subscribe and let me know what other type of tech you'd like reviewed. Or if you'd like to see my complete desktop setup, let me know. Thanks for watching Tank Top Tech and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.